Envision 2030 was created using the strategy on a page methodology and is theoretically and practically based on the balanced scorecard approach produced by Robert S. Kaplan and, and David P. Norton. During its development, we were lucky to have Robert S. Kaplan himself engage and critique what we had done. Like the balanced scorecard, Envision 2030 is based on four perspectives. The first of these being stewardship. Stewardship is defined as a values and principles based collective responsibility and accountability as custodians for all that is ours, our people, our infrastructure, our resources and the environment. Within the stewardship perspective are three strategic objectives. The first of these being lived values. This specific strategic objective is about nurturing a people-centered culture that embodies our values and principles. The first step in the creation of a lived values framework for DUT was the determination of a set of values and principles for DUT people. The decision was taken for the values and principles to be determined by our people and to this end a number of town hall engagements took place in 2019 where participants, students and staff were invited to give voice to what they regarded as the most important values and principles for DUT. From this process five key values and five key principles were identified. The values identified are transparency, honesty, integrity, respect and accountability. The principles espoused are fairness, professionalism, commitment, compassion and excellence. Having identified the key five values and five principles, the intent to make these more meaningful than simply appearing on our university branding was developed by adopting what we call the Living Values Methodology. This methodology is a project under the, the Magna Charta Observatory, MCO, that is located at the University of Bologna, Italy. DUT decided to adopt the Living Values Methodology as a means to embed the adopted values and principles within the university in a deliberate and methodical way by crafting a set of shared definitions and associated behaviours across DUT stakeholder pillars. Initially, the decision was taken to make use of and adapt where necessary the framework used by the Glasgow Caledonian University GCU in Scotland, which at the time was about the only international exemplar of this type of work. Many innovations, inventions came about that helped to evolve DUT's framework into a unique and innovative homegrown framework that spoke specifically to the needs of DUT. Definitions for each value and each principle, as well as desired behaviors associated with each value and principle were collected via a series of about 41 or more workshops called Cascading Conversations with both staff and students. Uh, the data were further refined via staff and student workshops to ultimately produce the document we now know as the Envision 2030 Living Values Framework, which is, was demonstrably developed by our people for our people. A number of innovations were made to the original GCU, Glasgow Caledonian University Framework, when it was decided that, one, the DUT Living Values Framework portrays I do, I am, and we are, we do statements, affirming self-talk to craft a living values mindset instead of I will, we will, that is in the GUC, GCU framework. We also refer to specific pillar, pillars of student staff, managers, leaders, structures, committees, instead of the GCU levels of everyone, people manager, and executive board. The DUT living, uh, living Values Framework requires a number of pillars because the framework covers a wide range of roles with different requirements and responsibilities based on our own experiences. Defining pillars of each value and each principle enables different descriptions of behaviours to be given within one framework. The behaviours are not the tasks associated with a particular job. They identify how an individual does the job. The behaviours are universal across all roles. 
though some are very much more important in some roles than others. As noted above, our framework consists of five pillars. The first pillar is we. And this consists of behaviors expected of everyone at DUT. This is followed by a student pillar that starts, I leave the values and principles using the behaviors listed below and then the behaviors are listed. The third pillar is a staff pillar and it uses, I leave the values and principles using the behaviors listed below and then they are listed. Pillar number four is managers, leaders. It, it starts lead and direct at departmental university level using the behaviors listed below. The final pillar is structures, committees that should leave the values using the behaviors listed below to carry out the tasks entrusted to us. That's what structures would say. The challenge now is to make our framework a living document and ensure that we embed our spouse values and principles in everything we do, which in turn will support building the DUT way and our institutional culture. Going forward, part of making the framework a living one will entail making changes in our recruitment processes so that we look beyond qualifications and experience, but fitness for purpose and ultimately fitness for the DUT way. In addition, we'll infuse relevant elements of the framework in many of our policies and procedures, including our performance management system. A values and uh, uh, principles-based uh, system on its own is just, just that. We want our values and principles to be lived, to drive and define us so that those who meet us, those who engage with our systems and processes could say, this is the DUT way of doing things. To achieve this, we have captured the definition of each of our values and principles within a set of benchmark behaviors. These aspirational statements clarify the things we would like to be recognized for and help us in evaluating and improving our current practices. These behaviors must underpin what we do and how we do it. As already mentioned, the DOT Living Values Framework, which has been developed with staff and students as explained earlier, is extremely important in ensuring that the ways we work together are consistent with our values and principles. They set out clearly the type of behaviors that we believe every, everyone who works with or for DUT uh, needs to exhibit irrespective of their role. Also sets out examples of the standards we must achieve if we are to develop the environment and reputation that retain and support existing staff and students and attract the best people into the future whether they work or study at our university. Living our values and principles is a means to move DUT and its people from good to great. Our Live Values framework provides a common language which helps us to talk about how we do things at DUT as well as what we do, and it helps us frame conversations on individual and team performance and development. It assists to bring consistency across DUT on how we work and can aid collaborative team work. It can help clarify the roles and behaviors of our people and their input to the student experience, for example, innovative teaching and learning practices, our research agenda, and many other institutional objectives. Our behavior statements are both realistic and aspirational, describing how we live our values and principles on our best days. Some we achieve easily, others may need effort, training, or support before we can regularly attain them and get them embedded, making them second nature. You can use the Envision 2030 Lived Values Framework to help you, your colleagues, and your team to provide a consistently excellent educational experience for our students a quality service to our colleagues, stakeholders and partners, offer valuable and innovative research and consultancy to our broader society and realize our tagline, creative, distinctive, impactful. The DOT Living Values Framework also offers a positive tool for self-assessment, reflection and development, which all staff and students should be working if we are to meet the challenges as set out in Envision 2030.
our lead values embody how we undertake our strategic objectives and are vital to the success of our strategy and DUT itself. The DUT Living Values Framework must sit at the heart of our research, teaching, learning, innovation, entrepreneurial activities, guiding our behavior as a community and as individuals within that community and equally for everyone at DUT. By defining our values and principles and associated behaviors and embedding them in our daily working lives, we can better understand what is expected of us, recognize positive behavior and actively address poor conduct that is not in line with Envision 2030. This will enable us to achieve the level of excellence to which we aspire and will support our ambition to deliver impact to society through our work and thus contribute to the improvement of lives and livelihoods for our broader society. Indeed, our values and principles are not just words on a page. They are interwoven into all aspects of DUT and they sit at the heart of all our work. Our values and principles guide us to be the employer and educator we want to be, one that is people-centered and engaged, one that is innovative and entrepreneurial, and it allows our people to thrive in this DUT environment and in the world at large. May all members of the DUT people internalize these associated behaviors. They are exactly what we need to make DUT different, upended, and transformed. They are what we need to be truly creative, distinctive, impactful. Thank you very much.